So let's suppose that we have the following illustration. So we have the Earth and we have two identical satellites orbiting our Earth along the same exact circular pathway. So the orbit of these two satellites is exactly the same. Now let's suppose these two satellites have the same exact mass. And notice that satellite 2 is slightly behind, it's some unknown distance behind satellite 1. Now we want to ask the following question. How exactly can satellite 2 catch up to satellite 1? So once again, suppose two satellites follow the same orbit around Earth and the satellite 2 is some unknown distance behind satellite 1. If the second satellite is to catch the first satellite, what exactly must it do? Well, let's begin by discussing the net force that acts on our satellites. Well, because these two guys, these two satellites, have the same exact mass and they're following the same orbit, that means the net force will be exactly the same. So the net force acting on either of the two objects is equal to the mass of that object multiplied by its radial or centripetal acceleration. And the only force acting on either of these two satellites is the force due to gravity of the Earth that's pulling on our two satellites. So the gravitational force is given by this equation. The gravitational constant g multiplied by mass of our satellite multiplied by mass of the Earth divided by the distance between the center of mass is squared. And this is equal to this value which also can be rewritten in the following format. The mass of the satellite multiplied by velocity of the satellite squared divided by the distance. So we can rearrange this equation and solve for the velocity and we get that velocity is equal to the square root of g times me, the mass of the Earth, divided by the distance between the center of mass squared divided by the radius of the orbit. So notice from this equation we see that the velocity of our object is proportional to 1 over the square root of the radius of the orbit. So that means the larger the orbit, the smaller the velocity. The smaller the orbit, the larger our velocity is. And notice from this equation that velocity only depends on the radius of the orbit because g times me is a constant and this is our variable. So that means because these two satellites are following the same exact orbit with the same exact radius, the velocity of these two satellites is identical. And that means there's no way that Satellite 2 will ever catch up to Satellite 1 if Satellite 2 stays, remains in the same orbit. In order for Satellite 2 to catch up to Satellite 1, what it must do is increase its velocity. So eventually it catches up. And the only way that it increases its velocity is if, is if it decreases its orbit, its radius of the orbit. So it must choose a smaller orbit to gain a larger velocity as per the following proportion.